Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation. Before we go any further, let's focus on the denominators. As we can see in the first denominator, in the first fraction, this could be easily factored out. Let's go ahead and do that one. So on the top, 5x is going to stay same. And the denominator, since this is a quadratic expression, that could be easily factored out. The possible factor is going to be x1 and x3, isn't it? And then it's going to become minus x minus 1 and x plus 3. Likewise, in this second fraction, we are going to factor this quadratic expression as well. And that is going to give us negative 2 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals to on the right hand side fraction the top 3x is going to stay same and likewise we are going to factor this quadratic expression at the denominator and that is going to give us x plus 2 times x plus 3. And here is our next step. This is a really crucial step. Here we can see in the denominator we got x minus 1 as one of the factors and x minus 1 over here. So I am going to write down x minus 1 factor just once. Likewise, let's focus on this x plus 2 and we got another x plus 2 over here. So once again, I am going to write it down just once. x plus 2 and finally, let's look at this the factor x plus 3 over here and we got another factor x plus 3. So I am going to write it down plus x plus 3 just once. Therefore, our least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple, turns out to be x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. And now we are going to multiply this whatever least common denominator across the board on this equation. Let's go ahead and multiply x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 with the first fraction. Likewise, x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 with the second fraction. And finally, with the third fraction as well. All right. So far, so good. And now, as we can see that this x minus 1 factor cancels out. This x minus 1 and x plus 3 is gone with this x plus 3. So we are ended up with 5x times x plus 2. And then we have minus, let's take care of this thing. x minus 1 is gone with this x minus 1. x plus 2 is gone with this x plus 2. So we got negative 2 times x plus 3 equals to on the right hand side x plus 2 is gone with this x plus 2 x plus 3 cancels out with this x plus 3 so we are left with 3x times x minus 1 and now we are going to distribute this one over here. This is going to become 5x squared plus 10x. Likewise, we are going to distribute negative 2 as well. So negative 2x minus 6 equals to on this side. When we do like this thing, 3, this is going to become 3x squared minus 6 3 x and now we are going to combine the like terms on the left hand side 5 x square and this become plus 8 x minus 6 
Let's move these 3x squared and negative 3x on the left hand side. So they're going to become negative 3x squared and this become positive 3x equal to 0. So right now 5x squared minus 3x squared is going to give us 2x squared and then we got plus 11x minus 6 equal to 0. And as we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula that you can see over here on the right hand side. So in order to find the values of a, b and c, we are going to compare our quadratic equation with this standard form and we can see that our a is 2, b is positive 11 and c is negative 6. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x equal to minus and b is 11 plus or minus the square root of b is 11 square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is negative 6. Everything is divided by 2 times 2. So far so good. So let's simplify furthermore. So that's going to become negative 11 plus or minus square root of 121 and that is going to give us positive 48 divided by 4. Now let's move on to the right hand side as we are running out of space on the left hand side. So x equals to negative 11 plus or minus square root of 169 divided by 4 which is equal to negative 11 plus or minus the square root of 169 is 13 and divided by 4 this is x equal to now we got two signs positive and negative we are going to split them so that is going to give us negative 11 plus 13 divided by 4 and the other one is going to be a negative 11 minus 13 divided by 4 once again one with a positive sign and one with the negative sign so that is going to give us 2 over 4 that means x turns out to be 1 over 2 when we reduce it and on this side that is going to be negative 24 divided by 4 that means x equal to negative 6 is another x value and here is our final solution 1 over 2 and negative 6 that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye